Welcome back to the channel guys. Now this is going to be the first video I've recorded back on PC but this is going to be quite an interesting one in my opinion. A lot of people seem to ask whether or not this is actually good to do or not good to do but we're going to be talking about birdhouse runs in this. Now I'm going to be explaining pretty much everything you need to know. Um, a certain few things you will find on other guides out there because this guide isn't specifically for them. Now we're going to start off with first of all getting my cat to shut up. But birdhouse runs, what do they do? Now birdhouse runs basically you can do, I believe it's every 15 minutes, um, but normally you'll do them every farm run you do. If you do farm runs consistently, every farm run you'll go do a birdhouse run with it. That way your farm runs and your birdhouse runs can just be done together rather than making it a hell of a lot more awkward. Now, in a farm run you will use four logs, you will need a hammer, a chisel, some seeds and be able to teleport to Fossil Island. But what you'll get out of these are birds nests and these birds nests some are empty and some can come with seeds some can come with rings now the ones with seeds are the best ones because you can get anything up to magic seeds i believe you can even i'm not sure but i think you can get spirit seeds anything that can come in a bird's nest you can get now this could be profit on a normal account or just farming experience and it can also on an iron obviously just be farming experience and obviously rings you could get ring, uh, emerald rings which you could enchant into bring a jewel in um, or rings of recoil for sapphire rings so that's basically what you get out of birdhouse runs if you guys don't know now i'm going to show you in this video how to go about doing a birdhouse run what you need to do a birdhouse run and roughly what you will get from birdhouse runs depending on what your levels of your skills are and what logs you are using now obviously on an iron it might be harder to get these certain things get these logs because you can need what kind of level you can't just buy them off the ge um but this you know this will tell you whether or not it's good for you to do them at the moment potentially on your iron man or whether or not you should work towards getting these levels higher to do certain logs because it does require crafting and a hunting level to be able to do certain logs um, i will get a table up on the board later on i'm not going to do it right now but i will show you a table of all the skills you need and what you get out of them and what the expected return is of each log which is very very nice but to start off with, you are going to need to be able to get to Fossil Island. And to get to Fossil Island, you're going to either need to use a dig site pendant. Or you're going to have to travel there via the boat. Now to be able to do this in the first place, you're going to need 100 kudos. Um, if you guys don't know how to get kudos, it's very, very simple to get them. There's loads and loads of guides out there. Or just look up on the wiki, they can tell you how to get uh, quick kudos very, very easily. Uh, you can get to 100 very quick. So don't worry about that whatsoever. And then I highly suggest you get the clean pendant. Uh, that is done in the Varric Museum. You also get kudos for doing the, the little mini game you have to do there to get the pendant unless you get really lucky and get it straight away. But you want to get the clean pendant, then you can enchant it to turn it into dig site pendants. And then what you have to do is you'll go to Fossil Island and I'll teleport there now. So if we rub it, we'll go to Fossil Island. You have to come to where the teleport lands and which is here on the mini map is here on fossil island so this is where you'll first come into fossil island after you do bone voyage you have to make your way up here get into there you normally go through this way through that way all the way through there and then you come up and then you have to come to this very room you got the steps and then this tablet on here you have to use your clean pendant on this strange machine and it will enchant it so from then on every time you enchant a uh, ruby necklace it will become a dig site pendant with five charges and you can teleport to fossil island it is very very nice to teleport you straight here what's so good about this is there's the mushrooms these mushrooms teleport you around fossil island which is very very handy because the bird houses are right next to the mushrooms now to unlock the mushrooms in the first place when you first come up to this magic mushroom you'll click it and all these options number three for example it says not yet found so i can't teleport there all of them will be like that other than the top one because that's where the first mushroom we're using unless you've used a mushroom previously if this is the first mushroom you're using, all the others will be unknown. So you'll have to go to the certain areas. I will show you on the map when I teleport to them. Uh, they're very, very easy to get. It's no trouble whatsoever. But the only two you do need are Verdant Valley and Mushroom Meadow, which are obviously number two and number four. Like I said, number one you just get because you're going to be teleporting here with the dig site pendant. So you'll always be next to it. So what we'll do is we'll use the magic mushroom tree and we'll go to Verdant Valley. I like to do it this way. So once we're here this is where it is on the minimap if you guys don't know this is the mining part the volcanic mine side of the map so if you come in here you just come around and you make your way all the way around and into here once you click the mushroom it's unlocked simple as now 
the way birdhouse run works i'm doing it on rune light so it's one click to empty them but normally you would right click empty it'd be further down i think interact's normally the first option but you empty them and you'll see what i get here for example i will get 1k hunter experience because the logs i'm doing i get four birds nest oh feathers as well i forgot you get feathers uh meat just drops on the floor no one really cares about that and this bird's nest has an item in it. I'm not going to open it because I normally do them all at the end. But then what you'll do is uh, use a chisel on the logs. Now this will make a, a birdhouse. We've got a U birdhouse. But to be able to do this, you need to have clockwork. Now I'm not sure if it shows up in the inventory. I wasn't looking. But to get clockwork in the first place to make a birdhouse, you're going to need these when you first do it. You only ever need to do it once. You need to make four clockwork. And to make clockwork... On an Iron Man, you're going to need at least 25 construction to be able to make the crafting table 2 in your house. But if you're not an Iron Man, just go to another player own house, go to the crafting table. Uh, it is going to have to be crafting table 2 or more. Uh, chances are if you go to someone's house, they will have that anyway. Um, and then you're going to need one steel bar and at least 8 crafting. You can then make a clockwork. If you make 4, that is it. That is all you ever need. Because there are 4 birdhouses you do on a birdhouse run, and that is all you will ever need. Which makes it a hell of a lot easier. But then once you've made the birdhouse, you just put it in. And then you use the seeds and they use 10 seeds at a time so you really need 40 seeds now to get these seeds you will either have to go buy them on the GE they're a lot more expensive to buy on the GE than to buy from the market or you can thieve from master farmers if you've got 99 thieving and the rogues den outfit I highly suggest it because you get double seeds and it's very very easy you actually make a profit as well because you get renal seeds you can sell or potentially use for farming experience um, and the last option is to buy from Olivia in Draenor. Now she is right next to the bank. Uh, the problem is a lot of people do this, a lot of Iron Men do this, so you might have trouble doing it. Well then Iron Man, if you haven't got thieving, this is your only way of doing it. Um, you're going to have to buy seeds from there, or you can steal from the seed market, which is nowhere near efficient enough. But there we go, there's the clockwork. That is what you require, but as you see, I'll use it. It'll use the clockwork and a log. I'll get that back every time I do this run. But there's more birds in this. I'm going to finish off this run right now. There's a few things I'm going to talk about whilst we're doing it. Now, what do I think? Are they good to do? Now, in my opinion, if you're not doing birdhouse runs on an iron, we'll talk about iron first. We're going to talk about iron and normal accounts. If you're not doing birdhouse runs on an iron, you're playing it completely wrong, in my opinion. I like to play efficiently. Even if you don't like to play efficiently, you're doing it wrong. This is free seeds. This is uh, free rings. It's just free. It's free stuff. Why would you not take it? It's very, very simple to do. And also, it's free hunter and free crafting experience. The crafting experience is not great, but the hunter experience is exceptional. I am getting 1k hunter experience per birdhouse at the moment because I'm doing U logs. Now, I'm doing four uh, birdhouses per run, obviously, like I said, which means 4k experience roughly every hour or two because of farm runs. That's passive. I don't have to train hunter. I myself have gone from about 50 free hunter to 65 just from birdhouses. That's pretty crazy, obviously they're not the highest of levels, but the more you do them, the higher logs you get, the more experience you get. It just gets absolutely crazy, because you're getting passive experience, and getting a massive reward out of it. Now, in this specific run, we're going to open the bird's nest now. Like, we didn't get too lucky, but we got a U seed, two orange tree seeds, and an acorn. Now, I don't use acorns, I'm not even sure if I use orange trees. At the moment, I always forget what farm uh, runs I'm actually doing, but a U seed... How much is that worth right now? So if this was a normal account, that's 77k right there. Like It's just passive money. Now, if we were to do this on a normal account, I think it's still worth on a normal account if you do farm runs. If you don't do farm runs, it might not be as worth for you because you just have to go out your way to do something which you, you might not care for. But if you're doing farm runs, it takes two seconds to add this on top of it. Now, if you're doing farm runs with it, Obviously, you're, you might be, if you're doing trees, you're spending money on it. Now, this might even out the, the profit, uh, the loss, should I say. So, you're not going to profit from doing this and doing farm runs because farm runs cost an exceptional amount when you're doing trees. Um, but if you're doing this, if you do them every now and again, you know, or if you're doing maybe a few herbs of it, you could really even out the money that you're losing. You might not even lose money at all, depending on what trees you're doing. Now, this could be absolutely great. But if you're just not doing farm runs altogether, you could make passive money, but some people might just not want to do it. It does take a tiny bit of time. You have to go to your bank, get stuff out. It might put you off of what you're doing. But honestly, I feel like it's very, very worth it on any account. It's free money. It's free seeds. It could be free farming experience for you if you're doing farming. And it's free experience. That's what's nice about me. It's passive experience. If you don't like training Hunter, you can slowly get Hunter up. 
Now in that run we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bird, uh, bird ne bird's nests, sorry. Whether or not they were empty or full, that doesn't matter. We've got 12 bird's nests. This is also a bonus on Iron Man because of crashed bird's nests. But I won't talk about that. I'm sure most Iron Men know about it. But if we go, I'm going to show you now. On the wiki, there is a page you can find where it says exactly what you're going to get from each birdhouse. Now, I'm going to put it up on the screen for you now, guys. Now, bear in mind, I got 12 in that run. Now, as you can see from this table, Redwood says expected bird's nest to be 12. So, and you only said 10. Now, I use U logs. Now, of course, you can get above or below the expected amount. And it does say the chance of nest, which is very nice. Obviously, you can see the higher the log, the higher the chance of the nest, and the higher the expected return is. Now, you obviously get hunter experience, like I said. The higher the log, the higher the hunter experience. But it does require a hunter level and a crafting level. As you can see, I was doing U. That means I needed at least 60 crafting and at least 59 hunter, which obviously I have both. If I wanted to go on to do magic, I need 75 crafting, which I don't have, and 74 hunter, which I also don't have. And last but not least is redwood, which is 90 and 89. As you can see, the experience increase isn't massive, but it's a nice little budge up, and obviously you're going to get more nests per run. Now, on an iron, this could be hard um, if you don't plan to do any woodcutting or crafting, so you might have to start off with. Maple are very, very good. If you can get to maple... Maple are amazing. I'll be, I was doing maple until I could do you. Maple trees are very fast to cut, very easy to get access to. 45 crafting isn't hard to get with the quest. 44 hunter is easy to get as well. Uh, you can just start off by getting 9 hunter, then that's a good boost from the Varric Museum uh, quiz, and that'll just help you on your way. And then you can get loads of bird's nests, and if you don't want to train hunter from then on, you can just passively get the, uh, the experience from the runs. Get up to 59 so you can do you and then obviously you're going to want to work on crafting as an iron anyway so you will eventually get to 60. Now that's pretty much all i can say about that list if you guys want to see more obviously pause it and look in detail if there's anything on there you'd like um to look into blah -de blah but that is pretty much how a birdhouse run works now i'm going to deposit all these real quick do i use our no i don't use our industry seed. so for me i only got one seed out of that but that's not set, not necessarily always a downside. I got one seed, yes, but I did get a good, a very very good seed at UC, which is major experience for my account. And I also got a bird's nest. I got some feathers, which doesn't matter too much. But the experience, the experience is very very nice, which, like I said, is one of the big the big points for me. So experience, uh, bird's nest, potential seeds, a tiny bit of a crafting experience, and what did I have to use? Five minutes of my time. Now for me. That is absolutely great. If this is a normal account, that's 77k for five minutes. You know, if you were to combine that, obviously it's not efficient per hour, but for the time you put in, you can potentially make a hell of a lot of money out of these for doing absolutely nothing. Now, to me, that is beyond amazing. So, on any account, I highly suggest doing this for, uh, regardless because it's pretty much free, free experience, bit of free money. I think it's great. You guys might not, but like I said, that's my opinion on birdhouse runs. If you guys have got any more questions about birdhouse runs, do let me know in the comment section down below. I will be responding to any comments that are put down there if they need any help of sorts. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you guys want to see any Iron Man content or any more kind of guides, videos, and sort of videos I do, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you